The Steinwinter Supercharge 2040 has been found, the famous truck that was wanted missing, the location of which was a mystery has finally been revealed. Trying to revolutionize an industry is never easy, especially in one that is as complex and far-reaching as trucking. For as long as people have been transporting goods on the roads, trucks have largely had the same shape dominated by two major models, the American and the European. But a man named Manfred Steinwinter back in the 1980s tried to change that. Many innovations have been made in the freight industry to improve efficiency. But few are as extravagant as the one we'll look at today. Barely three years into the 1980s, the Steinwinter Supercharge 2040 was born. A cab under trailer concept, much like the trucks we currently see at airports. Although it had been designed and patented by Manfred Steinwinter in the 1970s, its development took several years until it was finally presented at the 1983 Frankfurt Motor Show. It was developed on a Mercedes-Benz chassis and had a cabin 6 meters long and 1.17 meters high, 15 centimeters more than a Ford G40 under the hood had the Mercedes OM442 eight-cylinder engine of 400 HP, associated with a 16-speed manual gearbox. Although the compartment had been adapted to be able to receive the mechanics of any manufacturer, it was ahead of its time. It was also equipped with independent pneumatic suspension. Thanks to its unusual design, it could tow a load area of 18 meters long and a total cargo volume of 150 cubic meters. All this improved fuel economy thanks to its aerodynamic design. In addition, it improved maneuverability and was a completely modular vehicle, which increased its possibilities of use. For example, it could be used as a conventional truck with the capacity to tow a trailer, but a cargo container could also be added on top or even used as a tourist bus by adding a trailer with a seat. Moreover, everything seemed to be going smoothly, as the German transport authorities approved it for up to four modes of operation, as a truck for an articulated train, as a trailer train, as a heavy-duty tractor and as a bus. The scale prototype was presented in both Europe and the United States. The Steinwinter noted that theoretically its low profile would save on operating costs by reducing the space between the truck and trailer. At the same time the overall length would be reduced allowing more to be loaded without breaking dimensional standards. However, it offered limited visibility, something truckers were not convinced. Its loading possibilities allowed an economic increase of 20 to 50 percent depending on the type of use and the goods. It was very difficult for the engineers to perfect its handling and durability, as it had a great tendency to understeer, according to some reports of the time. The model's reliability did not guarantee the 1 million miles required by regulations due to overheating problems. So investors quickly opted to cancel the financing. That may have been because the Steinwinter did not prove to be much more economical than a conventional truck. Mercedes-Benz would also withdraw its support. But what put the final nail in the coffin of the supercargo concept was European legislation. Shortly after the concept was unveiled, it was announced that from the overall length of a truck, it would have to be limited to 18.75 meters of which the payload area could not exceed 15.65 meters. This cancelled the last advantage that the flatbed truck concept had over the conventional, thus putting an end to the future of the most extravagant truck in history. Its whereabouts are now known. The Steinwinter Supercharge 2040 has been found, the famous truck that was wanted to disappear, the location of which was not known and which was a mystery, has finally been revealed where it is. Yes, it is indeed in Europe and it is very close to Stuttgart where this truck is supposed to be from, and since then no one has ever heard of it again. The truth is that it was curious even the logo of the company represented by a rearing horse really similar to that of Ferrari, but don't be fooled by the sight. The two companies had nothing to do with each other. However, nowadays there is another company that took the same idea. It is Volvo. Volvo is the second largest manufacturer of heavy trucks in the world behind Daimler. It presented its first all-electric driverless cargo truck called Vera. It is a fully autonomous electric truck with a peculiar aesthetic that departs from what is seen in conventional trucks. Volvo's Vera has no driver's cab, Vera is an autonomous truck that has lithium batteries, which allow a range of approximately 300 kilometers. In addition, this vehicle can work every day at all hours on repetitive routes and is capable of transporting large volumes of cargo with high precision at a speed of up to 40 kilometers per hour. It uses cameras, radars and sensors to work in environments such as cargo centers, airports or factories. In addition, its use means cost savings, less effort and a clear help to the environment. The idea of this project is that it will come to fruition by achieving continuous operation with more interconnected units to make it a reality of this feat. 
there was cooperation between Volvo and DFDS, with the Swedish Transport Administration, the Swedish Innovation Agency and the Swedish Energy Agency. But what gives this model an edge over the competition is that the Vera model is already operating in real life. Vera, the autonomous electric and cloud-connected truck already at work transporting containers at the port of Gothenburg in Sweden. That's it for this video and the question for you is, would you have liked to see the Steinwinter on the road today? I'll read you in the comments. If you like this video, leave me a like and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. See you next time.